Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Amber from Unique Upcycles and in today's video I will be giving this little antique dresser a makeover. I'll be doing some paint blending as well as some stain layering. So if you want to see how I go for the whole process from start to finish, be sure to stick around. And remember to like and subscribe so you can get future notifications of videos I do post weekly. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the piece I'll be working on today. I did get this quite a while ago and I began working on it uh, before I started my YouTube channel so it is already all sanded down. As you can see that one drawer is broken so I did have some help from family uh, with repairing the side and the bottom of that drawer. I'm going to be doing some stain layering to the top of this. I'm going to start with the antique white and then I'll do the weathered gray over the top. I'm going to start my stain layering by putting down the first layer of uh, Varathene Antique White. I'm just using a foam brush for this. I'm going to completely coat the top. Once I have it coated, I'll go ahead and wipe back all the excess with a shop towel. Moving on to the second color, I'll be using Varathene Weathered Gray. I'm just applying this over the top of that antique white that I wiped back. Um, I did let the antique white dry for an hour prior to applying this. I'm going to do the same process that I did with the first one. I'm going to coat the entire top and then I'll wipe back all the excess. You can wipe it back as much as you want. Um, you can leave it so it's really opaque and gray or you can wipe it back to see more of the wood grain. After my stain was dry, I brought the piece inside and I'm filling any of the damage with some wood filler. Once that dries, I will sand it smooth with a sanding sponge and then just wipe back any dust that was created from the wood filler. I'm going to be sealing the top with Minwax Polycrylic and Clear Satin. I'm just applying this with a foam brush. I'm going to do a total of two coats on the top of this. Sometimes the top coat can open up the grain and it'll cause a little bit of texture. I'm just going to sand it back with a 220 sanding sponge and then I'll apply my second coat the same way that I applied the first one. Now that the top is completed, I'm going to go ahead and tape off along the edges so I don't get any paint on that now that I move on to painting the rest of the dresser. I'm using my Zinsser shellac based primer and a chip brush to apply this. I'm going to do two coats over the entire piece. This is very old um, so I don't want any bleed through especially because I'm going to be painting it white. So the shellac and the primer will prevent that from happening. drawer sides are different they don't match so I'm gonna go ahead and paint the sides of the drawers and do a little stencil detail on it to try to hide that and uh, just make it look more seamline. For the body of the dresser I'm gonna be using the color fluff by Dixie Belle. I'm applying this with my zebra triangle brush it makes it really easy to get into all those little tight corners and details right there. I'm doing a total of three coats of fluff across the entire piece. I'm also painting inside the drawer frames just because you can still see the bottom and sides a little bit when, even when the drawers are in place. For the drawer fronts, I'm going to be using this color Sea Glass by Dixie Belle, but I don't have enough to do it all. So I'm just going to blend some fluff and sea glass together to make enough for me to do the drawer fronts. It's just going to be a more muted sea glass. I'm switching over to my bare uh, oval brush for the drawer fronts to paint the sea glass, and I did a total of three coats of this on all the drawers. Once all 
three coats of the sea glass was uh, complete on the front of the drawers. I switched back to my zebra triangle brush and the Dixie Belle fluff to do two coats of that on the drawer sides. To seal all the painted parts of the dresser, I am using General Finishes Flat Out Flat Top Coat. I'm applying this with my Zebra Palm Pro. I do a total of two coats of this top coat over the entire piece. and tape my stencil onto the side of my drawer and I'll be using a rub and buff in the color gold leaf. I'm applying this with a foam brush just using the corner and rubbing it in over the stencil. I prefer to use this rub and buff for stenciling as it dries right away and you don't have to really worry about bleeding or anything through the details. the bottom of the drawers they weren't in bad condition but they were all different types of wood so this just makes them all match I'm gonna be using my wise owl uh, furniture salve on the inside of all the drawers to help rehydrate it and uh, just bring it back to life you can see the big difference in the color and it also makes it smell really good and fresh This dresser already had um, sockets on the bottom so I just ordered some replacement casters and popped those into place and here is the completed piece. I'll go ahead and I'll leave all the products and everything that I used in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you get notifications of future makeovers. And I will see you guys next time.